All right, hello and welcome to your yin class today. We're gonna to be focusing on how to release stress in different parts of the body where we tend to hold it. Uh, for this practice, you are gonna need a few props that can be really helpful, uh, perhaps a bolster or a cushion of some sort, a set of yoga blocks, two myofascial release balls, tennis or lacrosse balls, if you don't have myofascial release, and a blanket, maybe two, depending on how you like to practice. But start with a pretty gentle yin posture. So for this, you your block to place between the knees, or maybe it will be your blanket folded. Uh, but go ahead and whenever you're ready, just meet me on your back to begin. So take a moment laying flat onto your back with your knees bent. And before we actually change the shape or get into it, just start to bring some awareness to your breath. Notice how the breath feels in your body. And then we're gonna slowly start to set up for our first shape. So, Keeping the right foot on the floor, just gently place your left ankle across your right knee. So you're setting yourself up into a little bit of a figure four shape. Now try to keep your right foot exactly as it is, but as you bring both legs over to the right side, just roll onto the pinky edge of the right foot. But again, keeping it in line, so try not to let it walk over towards the left side of your mat. Now if you have that block handy, if you feel like your left knee is caving in, you can take the block, placing it on the inside of that left knee to gently press the knee so it's pointing more up towards the sky rather than collapsing in. But that's just an option if that feels nice for you, maybe kind of just holding the block in, wedged in between the right hand and the left knee to keep that in place. But again, that's just an option. If you feel comfortable without it, feel free to do this without the block. We're gonna also find a little bit of a banana shaping for the upper body. So without moving anything from the waist down, from the rib cage up, start to slowly bend over towards the right. So you're really opening up through the left side rib cage and closing off or compressing the right side rib cage. And then from there, bring your left arm overhead in any way that feels good. Maybe it's straight overhead, maybe it's bent in a cactus shape. But again, the left arm is just kind of following this banana shaping of the left upper body. And we're slowly gonna start melting into this shape and we'll be here for a couple minutes just trying to release through the side of the left rib cage into the serratus anterior, this muscle that wraps around towards the front of the body through the ribs an area that's really connected to the chest and the lats. So when we tend to hold tension in our shoulders or our upper back region, this is an area that can become really tight and tender. So we're gonna invite it to release with a yin stretch to begin. And then we're gonna bring in some myofascial release to really encourage this muscle to soften and let go, which will hopefully in turn help us find a deeper breath. So as you find yourself in this yin shape coming into stillness, just take a few of your natural breaths and notice how that feels. And after you've gathered in some information about your breath, I invite you to take a few deeper breaths. And more specifically, breathing into this left side rib cage.
And just to check in, notice if your mind has started to drift or to wander, which it naturally does, to bring it back to focusing on your breath and gathering this information with how the breath feels. And then slowly start to release the upper body first by releasing your arm. And then bringing your upper torso back in line with your hips out of that banana shape. If you were using the block on the inner left thigh, go ahead and set that off to the side. Take your right hand to the outside of your right leg and use your hand to assist your legs back up through center. And then from there, slowly release your left ankle from your right knee. Place your feet firmly onto the floor and maybe find this gentle windshield wipering of the knee side to side. Notice the sensation in the outside of that left hip. And then slowly roll on to your left side and press yourself up to have a seat. So after that yin release, we're going to come into a little bit of myofascial release, again for the serratus anterior, and then eventually the chest and the lats. So for this, you'll need a block on its mid setting. And you're going to really want to place the block when we come to lay in a side laying position right in the rib cage region. So not in the armpit. I know we practice that a lot together, but right on the side of this rib cage into the serratus anterior. So again, staying on this left side, go ahead and place this block on its mid setting right underneath the chest and into the sides of the ribs. And for some of us, this might be an area that's pretty tender, might be something we don't really think about a whole lot, but as you start to lay your body weight into this position, it might be a little bit tender and that's okay. Let it be a little bit tender and if it's extremely tender, I'm going to invite you just to stay still and focus on your breath. If you feel like you have a little bit of movement, just gently sway forward and back. Again, just playing into this whole region of this area that can tend to become pretty tight when we feel stressed or anxious. And if you're adding in movement, come back to a gentle breath with your movement. Let the body be really heavy onto your prop with the head being supported in the hand. And notice too, if it started out really tender, if there's any shifts or changes, the longer we stay, maybe it's becoming a more easeful, more accessible, as we're encouraging this muscle to let go of held tension and to soften. And if you were moving, I'm going to invite you to come back into stillness and just to be heavy onto your prop. Take a few deep breaths. And we're just going to move the block up now into the hollow of the armpit. So go ahead and release the head from the hand slide the block up right into that hollow of the armpit. So now an edge of the block is right 
at the top of the chest and the other edge of the block is right there where the arm and the shoulder come together. And have a little bit of block to the front and a little bit to the back. So as you start to gently move forward and back, you're releasing the chest in the front and then the lats in the back. So these two muscles that are really integral to the connection of the shoulder and arms and when we're tight, we tend to feel that in the shoulders and the neck. So inviting them to release, to let go of some held tension and stress. Once the move feels comfortable and familiar, again, come back to your breath. And if you were moving, I invite you once again to come back into stillness. Take a few deep breaths here. And then slowly use your top hand to press yourself up and to come off your props and come into Sukhasana or any seated posture that feels inviting in your body. And take a moment just to check in. Notice the difference if you divided your body in half between the left upper body and the right. Maybe the shoulder and chest region feels more accessible, able to breathe a little deeper into that side body. Notice how the arm hangs off the shoulder, which is that gentle release through these two areas. That's how the ribs feel. And then we're going to do that same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, slowly transition onto your back. Again, if you might want to block to hold the leg up, have that handy. And then come to laying flat onto your back with your knees bent, feet onto the floor. This time we'll keep the left knee bent and we'll take the right ankle across the left leg. So you're coming into the supine figure four shape. Keep your left leg foot exactly where it is. Try not to walk it over to the right as you let the legs fall off to the left so the right foot finds the floor. Now this may be where you want that block. If you feel like the knee is caving in, you'll take your block in your left hand and just kind of wedge it between the hand and the knee as a gentle assist to keep that knee up towards the sky. But again, that's just an option you can take or leave. Keeping everything from the waist down the same, let's take that little bit of a banana shape in the upper body. So from the rib cage up, side bend over towards the left. And then bring the right arm overhead in any way that feels accessible and comfortable in your body. And once you find yourself in this shape, come right back to your breath. Specifically, how the breath feels through the right side rib cage into the serratus anterior that wraps from the side body around the ribs to the front. And we'll be here for just a few minutes in this stillness pose. So anytime you notice your mind starting to wander, that's okay, it's natural. But then bring it right back to the breath as many times as you notice it drifting away.
take a couple more breaths here. Now we'll slowly start to transition out of the shape by releasing your arm first. And then letting the upper body come out of that banana shape and bringing your upper torso back in line with your hips. Again, if you were using the block to wedge the leg up, go ahead and set that off to the side. Use your left hand to the outside of your left thigh to assist your legs back up towards center and then release your right leg from your left. And again, take some gentle windshield wiperings of the knees, releasing through the hips. Roll all the way over towards your right side and press yourself up. Go ahead and grab that yoga block again on its mid setting. We'll start with the serratus anterior, so right in the rib cage region, so not in the armpit, but underneath the chest on the side ribs on its mid setting. As you start to come down, support the head into the hand and let your body feel really heavy onto the block. Notice if it feels tender or if it feels inviting. If it's extremely tender, maybe just staying still and breathing. If it feels inviting, maybe gently rocking forward and back. And if you were moving, I invite you to come back into stillness and take a couple of breaths here. And then slowly press yourself up just enough that you can release some body weight off the block and slide it up right into the hollow of the armpit and then come right back down. And take a moment maybe in stillness to check in to see how that feels. And if it feels okay, coming back to that gentle rocking forward and back, releasing through the chest and the lats on the backside body. Take just a few more passes if you're moving. And then come back into stillness and pause and take a few deep breaths, just staying still here. And then slowly pressing yourself up, coming into a seated posture. And then now notice both sides of the body, comparing around the chest, that serratus anterior, as well as the lats on the back side. And just take a couple of breaths and notice any shifts or transitions from when you first arrived in your practice to now. Maybe the breath feels more supported, more free. Maybe it feels more deep or broad. And 
And then just take some gentle shoulder circles as you breathe, perhaps matching it to your breath. Inhaling as you shrug the shoulders up and exhaling as you roll them down and back. Inhaling as you roll them up and exhale as you release them back. Just take a couple more passes there. And then maybe changing the direction of the circles this time, so circling them forward and up. And then we're gonna come into a technique to release where we hold tension, specifically in the face. And we're gonna find two spots, the temple and the jaw. So for this, you're gonna need a blanket and one actual release ball. So to get us set up, you're gonna actually fold the blanket so it's about the size of a yoga block. Several times, so it's like a pillow. It's actually a pretty small amount of fabric. And I'm gonna invite you to place it on the mat, have the flap side end up, because if we place the ball right on the temple, that could be uncomfortable. So we're actually gonna place the ball inside the blanket uh, for some extra padding. Now to find where we're gonna be placing the ball, if you place your hand right on your temple, and you'll kind of feel this little bit of a hollow. Now for a moment, keeping your hand there, if you clench your jaw, you'll feel the muscle push into the hand. Should feel like a little lift. So that's really where we're gonna to wanna to be placing the ball. So taking the ball, go ahead and grab a few amount of flaps on the blanket, because obviously the more we'll have, the more nourishing this will be. So I like to have like one, two, three, four layers of blanket on top of the ball. So there's gonna the ball be right there in your pillow. And we're gonna to come to lay on the side with the temple right where the ball is inside of the blanket. So your arm that's on the bottom can be however is comfortable. It can extend straight out in front of you, it can bend, but find that ball and place that hollow we just palpated right in on top of that ball. And if it feels intense, you might just need to place the ball deeper into the blanket with more padding. And then the back of the head or the back side of the head rather will just kind of rest comfortably on the rest of the blanket. I'll give you a moment to kind of make sure it feels like it's in a good position. And then you can either stay still and just focus on your breath, or maybe you just gently kind of massage the temple by moving the head around the ball and maybe nodding the head yes, or gently rocking it back and forth. But again, a really small, gentle movement just to help release this area where we can be really tight with tension or stress, especially if we have tension headaches. This can be a really nice therapeutic modality to help release that. And maybe instead of moving, if stillness feels better, feel free to either move the head around or stay still. Whatever feels more therapeutic for you. Let your head be really heavy and supported onto the blanket. And then from there, we're just gonna move the ball into the jaw. So instead of moving the ball in the blanket, 
and encourage you just kind of slide up a little bit. So you're actually placing the soft tissue of your cheek onto that ball. And if it doesn't feel quite right, you can move the ball inside the prop of your blanket if that feels more supportive for you to kind of just move the ball down towards your jaw. But right in the soft tissue of your cheek. And again, let the rest of the head be heavy onto the blanket. And if it feels too intense, you might just need a little bit more padding with the blanket. So feel free to put the ball in a little bit deeper into your folds. And again, you can be still or for this one, maybe just a gentle opening and closing of the mouth to kind of massage the jaw. Often less is more with myofascial release, so the stillness can be really nice. Or if you are finding gentle movement, let it be really slow and easeful. And if you were moving, I invite you to come back into stillness. Take another deep breath here. And then as easeful as you can, press yourself up to that comfortable seated posture once more. And take a moment and just notice now that line being drawn down through the side, or sorry, straight down the center of the head. The difference between the side that you've just released and the other side we haven't yet. Perhaps the side we've released feels less tension, more open, more easeful. Maybe the other side actually feels more constricted, still a little stressed. And feel free just to roll over and do the same thing. I'm gonna turn my prop around so I don't have my back to you. If you did move the ball down the blanket for the jaw, go ahead and slide it up more towards the top for the temple of the head. And again, come into your side lying position. And right in that hollow of the temple, placing that onto the ball, making sure the rest of the blanket is still supporting the head in a way that feels comfortable for you. Bottom arm can be however's comfortable, just making sure that that ball is right there in the temple. And then again, maybe gently moving the head up and down without lifting it off the prop, just kind of dragging the skin. Maybe a little forward and back, whatever feels the most nourishing to release through this temple region. And again, maybe it's just staying still and breathing. And if you were moving, I invite you to come back to stillness. 
and take a couple of breaths. And again, we're just going to move now from the temple to the jaw. So if it makes more sense for you to slide the ball down towards the jaw, feel free to do that. Or maybe you actually pick the body up and move it up the mat or up the blanket. So then that ball is right there in the jaw. Again, make sure you have enough padding that this feels more nourishing than stressful. The head will be kind of leaning slightly back as the ball is right there in the soft tissue of the cheek. Again, maybe you stay still with this gentle compression or maybe the most gentle and slow, soft opening and closing of the mouth. And if you were moving the mouth, I invite you to gently come back into stillness. And then whenever you're ready, just pressing yourself up once more to that seated posture. And then again, just noticing how you feel through these regions where we tend to have tension and stress in the face. And if we don't notice anything else, maybe it's just more awareness of relief there rather than a change of how it feels. And we're going to come into one more spot. And for this one, we'll still need the blanket and ball set up, but you will need both balls. And I just kind of want to show you where we're going to be placing them. So we're going to be releasing right along the occiput. So the balls will really be right at the base of the skull, so not on the neck right on the base of the skull side by side and ideally the blanket will kind of hold them in place so grab your other ball and this one can be more superficial so instead of being at the deepest or a deeper layer of the blanket if you want to just have one or two layers of blanket that might feel really nice as well i will say if you're working with harder um, balls like lacrosse balls more padding might feel nice but if you actually have myofascial release balls less padding so you can still feel the sensation of the ball so it really depends on the texture of the prop you're using. But we're gonna come to lay flat onto the back, placing the balls in the pit right there at the base of the skull. So kind of find the placement there and adjust your body to meet where your prop is. And again, hopefully they stay in place when they're inside the blanket. Just let your head become really heavy and grounded onto the balls. Again, not on the neck, but right there at the base of the skull. And take a few breaths here as we just kind of land and let the head be heavy.
Maybe the chin is just slightly tucked more towards the chest as you let the head be really heavy onto these props. Take a couple more deep breaths here. And then just scooch your body up a couple inches so the balls land right in the natural curve of the neck, releasing the cervical spine. So it may almost feel as if the back of the head is kind of cascading downwards like a waterfall as the balls are right there in that natural curvature of your neck. And again, come back to your breath. Take about two more breaths here. And we're just going to kind of scooch the body up a couple more inches so you feel like you're right where the shoulders and the neck come together. And again, let the body be really heavy. And there might be a lot less sensation here, especially where we have the padding on top of our props. And again, we're just looking to kind of stimulate the circulation of these regions to nourish and remove tension and what feels like stress in the neck and the shoulders. So we don't need a lot of pressure here, just enough to really spark that circulation flow. And I'm going to invite you to pick your head up just enough that you can just slide the blanket off to the side and bring your head and shoulders all the way flat onto the floor. And then notice perhaps what feels like a temperature change or a tingly sensation from the base of the skull all the way to the base of the neck. Sparking that circulation to hydrate the tissues to bring in what's needed and to remove what's not. Now, if you have time and you would like to take a Shavasana to keep honoring this release of stress and tension, I invite you to make yourself comfortable and stay as long as you can. But if it's time to move on with your day, I invite you to come onto one side of your body to transition 
off of your back. And then knowing that there's absolutely no rush. And whenever you're ready, just pressing yourself up into a comfortable seated shape. Using your hands to support the rest of the body. So we don't want to bring tension back into an area we just release. And then just notice how you feel specifically from the temples to the ribs. Releasing all these areas of tension. Notice how your breath has changed. And when you're ready, bringing your hands to your heart. I want to thank you for joining me for this release of stress and tension. I hope you feel less tense, less stress, more centered, more present. From my heart to yours, be well.